What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. We are going to be talking all about doodles today, as you have seen by the title. Um, if you are new to this channel, um, I frequently do dog breed videos and I figured I'm going to just cover doodles and give my opinion on doodles. Whether that be Labradoodles, Golden Doodles, Bernie Doodles, Aussie Doodles, I know there's Husky Doodles now, um, Woodles, Westie Poos, everything that is getting mixed with a poodle. So I can't do the normal breed history of a doodle because they are not a breed. <laughs> they are not a real breed. Um, they are just a mutt. So there's no breed history on doodles or anything like that. But doodles are definitely high energy dogs. They are not just a dog that I think anybody should just go out and get. Um, quite frankly, I think that if you want a doodle, you should just go out and get a standard poodle or a Bernese Mountain Dog, whichever one you are getting the doodle of. Um, Golden Retriever, Lab, whatever the case may be. Because I... I don't know why breeders like to tell people this, um, I guess just to get people's money, but um, doodles shed. Uh, there's no guarantee that the doodle you pick out is not going to shed. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is because you don't know if you're going to get the more lab fur, the golden Bernese Mountain Dog, whatever it's mixed with, there's no guarantee that it's going to get more the poodle hair versus the one that sheds. So there's no real way to tell. Um, puppy coat is very different from adult coat. Um, so looking at a puppy and you're like, oh, it's not shedding. Once it goes through coat change, once it gets a bit older and it goes through that coat change, it could be a shedding dog. Um, which I know is the reason why a lot of people get doodles is because they don't want a dog that sheds. But then another problem you'll run into with getting a doodle is that most of the time they're not they're not well-bred dogs. I mean, there's no way to have a well-bred doodle. Um, if you look at, like, a, a Bernese Mountain Dog has very thick bones, and so do Labs and Goldens. They all have very thick bones, where Poodles have thinner, more finer bones. So when you're putting those two bone structures together, you, you could get front legs of one kind or one front leg of a Bernese Mountain Dog and the other front leg of a Poodle. And then you're going to run into so many, so many health problems. So just something to keep in mind. And another thing that always kind of cracks me up as a groomer is when um, somebody brings in their mini Bernie Doodle and it's one, Merle, two, has short legs and a long body, very, very long body, like basset hound body with curly hair, right? So, I mean, I would just think, you know, if you're looking at puppies, you should look up, okay, poodles, and poodles do not come in Merle. They do not. It is not, they do not naturally come in Merle. That's not, that's not a thing. So you're looking at a poodle colors, and then you look at a Bernese Mountain Dog. Well, which one of those dogs is Merle? Neither. So if you've got a Merle doodle that isn't Aussies are the only one who can come in Merle. So if you're looking at any other kind of doodle that is Merle, well, there's something else in there. It's not just Lab and Poodle or Golden and Poodle or Bernese Mountain Dog and Poodle. That's, no, that's not a thing. And then another thing that I see a lot is, you know, you think about poodles are hunting dogs. They were bred to um, fetch waterfowl. So you think about that. That's a high energy dog. Poodles require a lot of maintenance with their hair as well as their exercise. So you think about that. And then you put that with a Bernese Mountain Dog or a Lab or a Golden. Another dog who was bred to work. So that's two high-energy dogs that need a lot of exercise. And there's so many people who don't understand that they are going to need a lot of exercise. You can't just get one and think it's going to train itself. Poodles are extremely smart dogs. They are the second smartest dog breed next to Border Collies. So... 
they're going to outsmart you if you're not training them. And they're just going to get their way and be pulling on the leash and doing all sorts of behaviors that you're not going to be wanting them to do in your house. And then you're going to be like, well, what, what am I supposed to do? This was this tiny, cute little doodle puppy that I saw and I bought it and now it's crazy, right? So there's a lot of money when it comes to training, just training with a doodle. Um, some trainers, like a good trainer, if you want them to come to your house or do a board and train, it's like $2,500, like between 2000 to like $5,000 for a board and train. That's a lot of money on a dog that you could just go and get a standard poodle where you're going to pay less money for the dog itself. Like, I mean, standard poodles from a, well, a, a good breeder are between like, like 1500 and like 3000 approximately, um, from a really, really good breeder who is testing for all the problems, the health problems that they could be having. And same with the Bernese Mountain Dog and Labs and Goldens. I mean, they're, there's no reason to go out and spend five or six thousand dollars, like, or four to six thousand dollars on a doodle that's going to have health problems and you're going to need to take it to a trainer and you don't know what kind of hair you're getting into. The grooming is insane for doodles. I mean, they mat super easily, especially if you get one that has more of the poodle coat, but it's like that dense in between. Oh my God, it's a nightmare for a groomer. Like, I cannot tell you how many people that I have met, um, cause I'm grooming their little puppy and this one lady has a micro mini doodle, which really he's just like a poorly bred miniature poodle, but he bites. He is not nice at all. He is a, a very rude little dog and his mom asked me to help every time he comes in to be groomed. She asked me to help train him. And I'm like, I, you know, I'm not with you every day. I can't do all the training. You need to get a trainer because he's biting them at home. Because you've got a super smart dog with whatever else he's bred with. And then that's just a recipe for disaster. Um, I cannot tell you how many doodles I've met who have like their face shape is wrong. Just like their eye socket is too small for their actual eyeball because a lot of people don't think about, you know, every dog has a different eye shape. And so if you're mixing a dog with a big eye, a big eyeball, with like a smaller eyeball, you could get the eye socket of the bigger one and then the eyeball of the littler one and it's not going to sit right. And then they're going to have all sorts of eye problems. And I mean, it's just a recipe for a lot of vet bills and a lot of money being spent. So please just keep all this in mind whenever you're thinking about going and getting a doodle. Uh, just look at purebred dogs first. Um, and if you've got, if you want to get a Bernese Mountain Dog or any of those kinds of dogs, just bring them to the groomer like every four to six weeks and get them a good blowout and they will not shed. I, I mean, they'll, they'll shed, but it's not going to be nearly as much as, you know, if you don't get them groomed for like six months. If you take them to a good groomer who's going to blow them out really, really good and brush them and take them like every four to six weeks, then you won't have all the hair around your house. And like I said, you're not guaranteed that if you get a doodle that it's not going to shed. I had a customer the other day who she has standard poodles and her friend just got a doodle and she didn't want it. She didn't want a shedding dog. I don't know why she didn't just get a standard poodle, but the doodle didn't shed as a puppy and now it's getting its adult coat. And it's shedding like crazy. It has more of the lab hair than it does poodle. So now it's shedding like crazy. And she thought she was getting a hyperallergenic dog. So just please, everybody, keep this in mind. Um, I don't know how many times I can say it or how much I can stress it. That please do not get a doodle. There, It's not worth all the money that you're going to be spending on that dog. Um, between cherry eye and ear infections and arthritis and all sorts of like hip dysplasia, all sorts of problems that arise when getting a doodle. Just get a purebred dog, please. And thank you. <laughs>